The defense are at the heart of any team, it's no good scoring if you leak goals at the other end. This week's session progressively works on tackling and defensive shape. To warm up, the coach creates a box or circle, either will do and splits the squad into two equal teams. One team waits on the outside, with the other team huddled in the middle. The team on the inside must nominate a player to tuck a different colored bib in the back of their shirt or shorts. When the coach shouts go, the green team enter the area and the blue team must attempt to stop them finding out who has the bib. Once identified, the attacking team must pass the ball around the area to get close enough to tag the player using the ball. Once caught, the teams swap over and repeat the exercise. This fun game encourages players to protect each other, scan to find the bibbed player and communicate effectively to tag them and win. The coach can repeat the game a couple of times for each team to ensure players are warmed up suitably for the rest of the session. The coach should encourage players to think about their body shape and positioning to protect the player and should try to deceive the opposition by making sacrificial runs to distract them from the bibbed player. Next, the coach introduce a skill-based game, working on one versus one tackling. Players must work through three different channels progressively, as shown by the green lines. This first demonstration shows each channel individually but all green players should begin working at the same time, as shown next. The defenders in the first channel must stay on their line and attempt to win the ball. The second channel can only work in their half of the box and the final channel is one defender that can move through the full area. Let's look at the full exercise as it should look during your session, with all players engaged. If one of the defenders makes a tackle and wins the ball then the green player should retrieve their ball and carry on the exercise. Once all players have been through the channels and are back to their start point the teams swap over and five green players become the defenders. Throughout the drill, the coach should take opportunities to coach body shape, timing of tackle and reading of the ball, making sure players don't fly in and get beaten by the attacker. Once complete, the coach should allow a quick water break and debrief players on points that went well and things to continue working on and thinking about for the rest of the session. Next, the coach moves on to a conditioned game, where players work on quickly adapting their defensive shape as a back four. The coach sets out four mannequins with different colored bibs or four sets of different colored markers to act as an attacker. The coach calls out a color and the most appropriate defender presses forward to the player with the remaining defenders adopting a supportive position covering the spaces. To progress the drill the mannequins are removed and one team becomes the attackers. The attackers should move the ball freely but slowly, allowing the defense to continue practicing their pressing and shape quickly adapting to the ball. It is important the coach teaches players where they should be positioned until it becomes muscle memory. The correct positioning can be lost when adapting so quickly to the ball's movement. Lastly, and as a progression from the previous drill, the coach conducts a possession-based attack versus defense game with one or two defensive midfielders introduced to the defending team. The ball is played to any of the blue attacking players to begin the exercise. As with the previous exercise, the ball is moved around with the defending team choosing the most appropriate players to press the ball and the remaining players positioning themselves to support. Emphasis now is on using the most forward players to press the ball such as both CDMs or a CDM and a full back. The coach can conduct a short debrief then allow the attacking team free reign to penetrate the defense and score. The attacking team should be encouraged to hold possession and still move the ball around until they can find a suitable gap to progress their attacking phase. If the defense win the ball, then they can be told to create 10 passes before being allowed to play the ball back to the coach to begin then next attack. The coach must remain in control of the session and not allow the attack to just force the ball through unless a good opportunity presents itself, remembering that the session is focused on the defense and not allowing gaps to open up. Give this defensive session a try with your team and subscribe to the Football Hub for more coaching content.